<clears throat> Hi guys How are you all today morning Good morning Today is 31st December 2022 I take this opportunity to wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year 2023 my name is t s p rakhavan and i live in chennai tamil nadu india i am a published author with amazon kindle and paperback I write on spiritualism, fiction and assorted subjects. Spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject. This is my spiritual vlog on YouTube. Hari bol T R S V nectar N E C T A R nectar in this particular vlog in my previous videos we have been discussing about the knowledge and information that we have gleaned through the study of spiritual books scriptures contemplation on the material universe and meditation on the spiritual universe this particular video is no exception to that rule today we shall discuss the proverb in english faith is the index of the mind this is quite true actually in the indian language tamil there is a proverb which says the beauty of the mind is visible on the face it is a fact because the expressions in the eyes the twitching of the nose the quivering of the lips and other facial expressions of an individual whether male or female gives a an idea of what is happening to him or her within him or her this includes the fountains of tears that fall from within the eyes of a particular person a sad person howsoever he or she may try to hide hide that sadness will either look artificial by when he or she smiles or will uncontrollably shed tears while talking this is no exception but alas nature is such that people don't look at the beauty or otherwise of the mind but they are infatuated and they lust after the senses of a particular person you will appreciate that majority in the society whether male or female lust after a particular person just because of his or her looks without reading the face carefully but this is not a thing with professionals like psychiatrists soothsayers astrologers doctors etc who read the expression of a client or a patient to find out what is happening to him or her within him or her it is helpful in the diagnosing the actual problem problem of that particular person charles gurumukh shobhra's mother 
has gone on record saying that her own son looked and looks like an angel but somehow during his childhood the devil crept into him unnoticed that is despite the beauty of the face of charles gurmukh shobhraj the expressions in his face would have told any face reader that he was not what he appeared to be if only the lasses who were besotted by his looks and who fell on for him out of lust had been a little more intelligent and careful probably this guy would not have become such an international incorrigible murderer and criminal probably his criminality could have been plucked there and then in fact a person who was so intelligent that he was an executive in a bank in a business in france his name was alan boynor even this man fell for charles lux and he regretted it later on when this fellow became internationally notorious even in the hindu epic mahabharata it is said that two of the most important characters of the negative type in mahabharata were ashwatthama and duryodhana both these guys were known for their extraordinarily good looking faces and build they so much so that draupadi who ultimately married the five pandava princes actually got besotted with ashwatthama in her initial stages and they became boyfriend and girlfriend they could have become ardent lovers and married each other but because of two hindrances they could not do so ashwatthama was a brahmana and draupadi was a kshatriya the caste system prevented these two to get married to each other further ashwatthama's father don acharya and draupadi's father dupada were are were ardent or very close friends turned woes uh, friends turned foes vidura the father of draupadi had done a yagna only to get his son dhrishtadhamya who dhumna who would slay dronacharya in the end in fact only in the process of begetting a son like dhrishtadhumna did king drupada get draupadi this draupadi fell for acharya dhoda's son ashwatthama who was extremely handsome talented intelligent but alas arrogant draupadi being draupadi understood this negative quality of ashwatthama probably because she could fee, uh, read faces and she knew that ashwatthama was not as beautiful inside as he looked outside face is the index of the mind there are many expressions of a particular person's face which invariably tell the world what he or she is within and there are several cases where good people both male and female are repulsed by the looks of a particular person just because that person's expressions or facial expressions 
are not that good and they want these good people to keep away from such people, such beautiful or handsome persons. Kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this matter. Please give me your own expert opinions, ideas and thoughts so that we may blend everything for the sake of the society. Kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that I may keep reminding you of my other videos. Till we meet in my next video, it is Good morning from TFV Raghavan.